With the current formatting on this document, it's almost impossible to tell where one paragraph ends and the next begins. But watch how adding some tabs and indents will transform this into a readable document. The first thing to do is add some spacing after each paragraph. You may recall from a previous lesson that this option is found under the line spacing icon. From within this menu, I'll select Add Space After Paragraph. It's looking better, but we can improve readability by adding a tab indent before each paragraph. Doing this is easy. Simply click before the first word in a paragraph and hit the tab key on your keyboard. Do this for every line. Voila! Notice on your ruler up top here that hitting tab moved a blue bar over to the right. This symbol tells you the distance your tab moves the text and moving it will change your tab distance. You can play around with that if you like. Okay, let's pretend that our second paragraph is a quote that we want to stand out. Increasing indentation is a great place to start. First select the entire paragraph and click on the Increase Indent icon right here. This option is also available under your Format menu under Paragraph Styles. That definitely makes it stand out, but perhaps it would look a little more like a quote if we changed the style to italics. For that I'll click on the slanted eye button right here. Okay, looking better, but it might look even better if it had an indent on the right side as well. Remember that ruler we looked at just a second ago? On the right side, there is a little upside down triangle. Click on that and drag it to the left about half an inch, three quarters of an inch. That looks much better. Adjusting indents aren't only for quotes. They can help you line up text with bullets and lists and can help you make room for graphics. Some things we'll explore in some future tutorials. In the next lesson, we'll add page numbers to this document. See you then.